State Fair Fever PBL by Jennifer Howland and Joyce Doug from Salem Middle School. Our summer STEM career immersion hosts were Biogen and MetLife. At these companies, we learned about the agile project management process. Seeing how teams work in industry to tackle problems through Scrum protocol was an essential takeaway that we could share with our students upon return to school. In this unit, our learning goals were for students to understand how living organisms are affected by agents of disease, to summarize the characteristics of viruses, bacteria, fungi, and parasites, and how they affect the spread, treatment, and prevention of disease, and to explain the difference between an epidemic and a pandemic. We designed a project in which students watched an illness spread rapidly throughout the state fair. Through videoed patient interviews and research, students had to uncover the pathogen causing the illness as well as the original source and spread of the pathogen. With their findings, they designed public service announcements to convey the importance of disease prevention with the intended purpose of a community night presentation. Throughout the implementation of our project, we definitely saw the necessity of a solid scrum team and project plan, particularly as it pertained to absent team members. One way of overcoming this obstacle was through FaceTime among teammates and shared Google Docs. And on the left-hand side, you can see how students were able to divide their tasks and provide reflections along the way. Salem students were immersed in the design process throughout the PBL. Initially, they defined the problem. People were becoming sick at the state fair. They then conducted background research and gathered data to develop hypotheses about the pathogen involved in the outbreak and the original cause of the pathogen. They then communicated their findings through a PSA to raise awareness to the spread of disease. This is one example of an infographic that students made to express how disease is spread. And we're going to ask him a question. So the question is, do you know how to prevent um, disease spreading? Um, I would say washing your hands as frequently as you can and doing a really thorough job of it as well. Um, what do you think? Um, I'm thinking like if you were to sneeze or cough, you would want to do that into your elbow. Throughout the span of the project, students harness the four C's daily. Student teams researched and solved problems collectively, divided tasks, and discussed the challenges they faced. Due to timeline constraints and multiple questions that needed to be answered simultaneously, student teams had to delegate individual research responsibilities and then come back together as a team to solve the overall problem. While creating the PSA, students used their creative talents to convey the information obtained. Throughout the PBL process, students were required to take on the role of epidemiologists, following the same, albeit simplified, procedures as any CDC or World Health Organization official who goes in the field to determine the cause and starting point of real outbreaks around the world. Additionally, we invited a guest speaker, Dr. Jeffrey Muller, to discuss pathogens and disease with our students. One of our biggest takeaways from this experience for us and our students was the development of soft skills. When students are able to work in an effective team environment, they experience success in any discipline or career. I love that they could take this with them. An additional benefit was for students to act as the epidemiologists through the project, while they are also following the epidemiology of COVID-19 throughout the entire project. It increased student awareness of the work of dedicated scientists through an unprecedented time in our world's history.